The 2019 Missouri Youth Leadership Forum is hosted by the Missouri Governor's Council on Disability, Paraquad, and the University of Missouri. This video shows participants of the annual Missouri YLF. The Missouri YLF is a five-day leadership training program. This program teaches delegates about self-advocacy, disability history and awareness, mentoring, community service, employment and career options, and other various available resources. These delegates participate in classroom-style learning in small groups. During the presentations, one group is summoning turtle power to release their energy into the air. They also experience large group activities, which include evening programs with keynote speakers, an adaptive sports night, a talent show, and some dancing. There is a lot of group dancing in the court at Missouri University. There is also a stage at the court for the evening's talent show. The first interview in the video is by Justin Taylor from Kansas City. The video shows the delegates meeting with the governor in a large Capitol building. The delegates are excited to be there. A lot of them shake the governor's hand. They are shown raising their hands in the air while the governor is asking questions and talking with them. One of the key topics shown is called self-advocacy. This topic is discussed later in the video by Delegate Lydia Olmsted. While she is speaking, the video shows participation by her and other delegates at a seminar and debate taking place at the State Capitol Building's House Chamber. Lydia also talks about another topic called Growth in Confidence. For this topic, the video shows everyone taking part in the talent show at night. Somebody even scores a perfect 10 for their presentation. The program concludes with a graduation ceremony where the delegates give a presentation about what they have learned throughout the week. This presentation is received by their parents, staff, and other guests. The video begins with staff members and delegates filling boxes with school supplies and other items. There are various scenes showing delegates with handouts and booklets Delegates and participants are seen doing the various activities throughout the week. Now let's listen to Justin Taylor from Kansas City talk about his time there. My favorite part is when we went to the Capitol in Jefferson City, which I've never been to Jefferson City in my life, or let alone the Capitol. <laughs> and then we went to meet the governor. He's a really, really great guy. The biggest thing I learned here is that all that matters is what you do and like how hard you work because at the end of the day, we're all people too. All of us are people. Transition to independence. Groups of five or six delegates are at separate tables with staff members in a classroom setting. They are sharing artwork and stories about their favorite things. They're learning more about one another and about their self. Service opportunities. Delegates are shown loading boxes with household items and hygiene products. One box is full of toothbrushes and hair ties for kids. They're mending quilts and bonding with each other. Social activities. Participants are shown in the Missouri University Gymnasium playing various sporting events, including wheelchair basketball and bocce ball. Other people are playing pool and posing for pictures with the Mizzou mascot. At night, one cowboy shows off his roping skills, and everybody is doing a lot of dancing. Future Exploration Young delegates are shown getting ready for their future. They dress up in formal clothes and discuss career options. They also receive information from keynote speakers. Here's the interview from Lydia Olmsted of Columbia. It has been really amazing. There's been a lot of really awesome opportunities to really discover my leadership skills and develop them. One of the biggest ones would be self-advocacy skills. And then also I have been continuing to utilize my good communication and listening skills and also become more outgoing. Speaking up for myself when need be and explaining to others what I need. That's definitely been something we've learned about that's really key if you're going to be a leader and help others. Connections for your future. The graduation ceremony is shown here with delegates sharing their testimony and getting certificates after completing the five-day event. Now let's hear what Terrence Stewart of Kirksville has to say. My favorite part about camp so far would have to be meeting all my friends. I've met a lot of people from all around. I'm hoping that we can get together sometime after the YLF time. 
For more information about the Missouri Youth Leadership Forum, visit www.disability.mo.gov forward slash gcd forward slash ylf dot htm or call the Governor's Council on Disability at 573-751-2600. Sponsors of the Missouri Youth Leadership Forum include the Missouri Mental Health Foundation, Changing Attitudes, Building Hope, Missouri VR, Mosul, an Association of Missouri Centers for Independent Living, the University of Missouri College of Education and Pre-Employment Transition Services, Bright Star Care, Home Care and Medical Staffing, the Veterans United Foundation, Missouri Statewide Independent Living Council, Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, and also Paraquad, the Disability Experts.